the city that never sleeps is now shut down. Congregations have dismantled with shrieks and a frown. The end of the race approaches. At the finish line stands St. Michael, making sure we're not treated like roaches. For birds, it's a first to grace the skies with no fear. In open air spaces of silence, through cotton cloud burst filled skies, emission free, they're cursed hearing the spree of ambulance sirens, dispersed medics and nurses immersed in the desperate plea for a latent guarantee of respirators and gear to save the lives they foresee without time for a cup of tea or even to shed a tear. New York nights turn dark and idle. Coronavirus is on a deadly rampage. Theaters close and spotlights turn off, provoking showmen to feel suicidal. Seductive consumption is not worth the cough, since for breathing lungs are vital. Celestial lights above trail the Milky Way glowing along the silver river routed cosmos, darting down their wrath against false thoughts of a phony doomsday, imploring us instead to go within and pray for the homeless and hurting, for those who can't pull through May there be pity and gloves for their needy hands to fight off our new enemy, this mutating flu. Beware of insanity fostering fear and bigotry, favoring the strong to adhere Resist Nietzsche's theory that we do not like humanity and success is our only veneer, our crumbling Babylonia bears heavy losses and what's worse we abate by isolating behind bolted gates our towering 5G incubator, no longer cranking at optimal rates. Aghast, we follow our allies' example towards a unified fate. Surfing the wave of long-term effects, balancing on shifting tectonic plates, now we realize that love is an embrace, a kiss, an intimate relation. We await with desperate anticipation, as if our loved ones were a blind date. Earth is sluggish, barren, and tired of mourning. All the injured, sentient animals invoke a warning. Time for a siesta. At this eleventh hour, Divine Mother of Fertility needs to reveal her power, reinstall civility, Earth's soil. 
purify water so fish aren't soured. And bees can live off blossomed, sweet, potent flowers. Corona is just a catalyst dressed in pandemic viral fashion, prompting us to respond with conscientious passion, to brave the tyrants, persuading through treachery against national health care and environmental sustainability, knowing full well it's an urgent necessity. Without compassion, our collective soul is in jeopardy, proving our ancestors' efforts a worthless journey, and us being our own worst enemy.